Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's episode, we're going to talk about the difference between the condition that most commercial space is delivered, specifically the difference between cold gray shell and warm vanilla shell. Let's get into this. So the agenda for the day, we're going to talk about a brief overview of the typical kinds of condition categories of commercial space. The two main ones being cold gray shell and warm vanilla shell. And we'll do a quick comparison, kind of like a side by side, so you can see how they vary, how they're different, and across a spectrum, some of the considerations that you should keep in mind. So the very first thing that came to mind when I heard these terms, the first time I heard them, was ice cream. And I know that for a lot of you, that's probably not the first thing, because maybe you're not as obsessed with ice cream as I am, but when I first heard this concept of describing space as a shell and the condition and temperature or color of shell, it, it really got me curious about why people would describe it that way. And to tell the truth, the more I thought about it, the more I started to understand why. So if we take a look at the broadest spectrum, we'll start off first with cold shell and we'll work our way through the highest level of finishes. I think we'll start to understand where these phrases or descriptions or terminologies came from. So first is cold gray shell. I think the best way to identify if it's cold gray shell is what is the condition of the ceiling? So if the ceiling is exposed, if you have direct access to maybe all the mechanical or electrical or plumbing work or HVAC work, if you can see the slab of the floor above you, then that's likely a sign that it is cold or gray shell. Next is what's the condition of the walls? So does it have drywall on it or not? How about the flooring? Is there any flooring installed at all? Or is it just, again, the gray slab? And what about all of the typical fixtures that you would require? So internet or electrical or phone, are they actually already installed? Are they stubbed out for utilities or not? Now, next is warm. And I think warm shell or vanilla white box shell, depending on who you talk to, describes the same thing. And I think this paints a very different picture. So here you'll typically have the drop down ceiling installed. So that faux ceiling above which you'll typically house all of the HVAC, electrical or plumbing work. You'll also have more often than not, if the partition work isn't installed, you'll at least have drywall installed along all the, all the interior walls. And so in this case, maybe that's where that white box shell condition name comes from. So the drywall would already be installed and in place. Next, the electrical would likely already be installed. So you'll have outlets in very designated areas. And more often than not, some of the flooring is going to be installed as well. Now, if you compare cold, so raw condition, to vanilla or warm, where it has a small degree or moderate degree of finish to the extreme. So here is an example of finished space. So even if you were to remove all of the furniture, the lighting is in place, the flooring is very obviously in place, and it's not just simply here some carpet that we're going to slap down, like it could be an engineered wood, it could be a tile, it could be a a, a cultured stone of some kind, the ceiling, the HVAC, this paints a very, very different picture, even from warm shell. And so this spectrum, I think, is probably best thought of in these three main categories. So cold, warm, or finished. With finished requiring the least amount of work, it's almost turnkey, you can move right in, and cold requiring the most amount of work. And so what that work is defined by, of course, is going to vary by condition, but it typically means the electrical, the plumbing, the HVAC, maybe some of the mill work, maybe some of the partition walls or interior finishes. Now, obviously, I don't think it's necessary to really take a lot of time here, but if it's in cold condition, 
a raw condition, it's going to take a long time for you to get it to a finished condition. And so think about all the steps you have to go through, right? Maybe you have to go through some kind of test fit or architectural layout. Maybe you have to go through some kind of bid out process with a third party contractor. Maybe you have to get some kind of architectural plans or construction drawings to complete the space to your specifications. All that takes time. And so in doing so, cold likely requires the longest. Finished is basically turnkey. You can walk right in, kind of like a sign and drive lease on a car. Now, understandably, with the greatest amount of time in the least finished condition, it would likely be the most costly to try to finish the space. And if it requires the most cost and the greatest amount of time, that directly translates to it potentially being the most risky for the owner. They have to spend significant time, money, and effort to prepare the space for occupancy for a new tenant. So just as a quick overview, there are various uh, kind of categories or buckets in which you can define the condition of commercial space. The most common way to think about it is cold, warm, and finished. Different geographies will have different ways to describe them, right? So it could be vanilla shell for warm space or gray shell for cold space. But regardless of the superficial or maybe sub somewhat subjective way to describe the space, just keep in mind that the degree of finish or completion of the space is really what helps you differentiate. So if you can turn the key to the door, walk right in and plug your laptop into a desk, that's obviously finished space. If you don't even know where the outlets are, that is cold gray shell. All right, everyone, I hope you found this video helpful. Look forward to talking to you soon. Take care.